I'm talking now to the advertisers, to the corporate CEOs, and to the government officials because I know how hard you guys are trying to make us scared. I'm talking to police officers, security enforcers, and anyone who feels entitled to hold authority over another person because I know that you're confused. I'm talking to every working person who worries that without their submission to a corrupt government and labor system, that their survival is at stake because they aren't wrong. I'm talking to every person who feels restless, bored, or unhappy because people like to tell you that it's your fault, that the problem lays with you. It doesn't. I'm talking to everyone who knows that something disgusting is going on but doesn't believe it will ever change. You're wrong. I'm talking to everyone who very justifiably fears for the future of our planet. Every day we are told how it and we might be destroyed, either through environmental disaster or the dropping of nuclear weapons and chemical warfare. They don't talk about solutions and they don't offer hope. I hope that I can. Today, I overheard a young woman telling a co-worker that she sometimes wakes up crying. She doesn't know why, but she can't help it. She recently emigrated here, she has a husband and two kids, and she didn't understand how with such a seemingly perfect life, she could still spend mornings crying in the shower, before pulling herself together to send her kids off to school and heading off to work. It wasn't my conversation to join, but I wanted to tell her that I understand, that her pain is justified, but that she has a choice, just as we all do, and just as Bill Hicks said, between fear and love. And I refuse to be terrified.